Cool. What's up, everybody? My name is Junebug, um, and I'm a multidisciplinary artist. Right now, I've illustrated some characters that I've been doing uh, recently called the birds. Um, and they're pretty much what freedom means to me. Um, just a raw expression um, of self, uh, kind of beyond the bounds of judgment um, for, you know, like the spirit of Black folks. Um, I'm from Jamaica originally, so, you know, grew up their uh, late 80s, early 90s. Um, so some of these figures are from what I've seen in like the dance hall culture. Um, and then growing up the rest of my life in the States, uh, I've seen a lot of these figures being like blues, uh, jazz, um, even hip hop. So um, I think just over the t course of my life of just observing art and just imagery in general, um, these characters kind of came about to where it wasn't so much more about like what they, the details of who they were, but more so just the essence of what it is. Um, and a lot of the inspiration comes from like the 60s and 70s. Um, so you can kind of see that in the clothing. Um, and just the, the idea that, that we're constantly in motion. Um, I don't believe we are stagnant people. We're always thinking, we're always overcoming. And so these characters um, feel like a, a direct reflection of the essence of us and how we are able to tap into ancestral energy um, and just move. Um, you know, natural ability to just be on beat all the time. <laughs> um, so, you know, uh, I, I think these characters just have that kind of unexplainable um, uh, dictionary wise, but I think we as a people can feel what they mean and based on our backgrounds and our understandings of life and our own experiences, we all uh, understand them or feel them uh, uniquely to ourselves. So um, I can't fully explain them, uh, but I know what they feel like. And to those of you who are watching, um, I'm hoping that some way they resonate. Um, and uh, yeah, so this was kind of quick, so I'll, I'll clean it up and I'll probably post on my Instagram later, but um, yeah, thank you, Toasted Life. Um, we are hella creative. Um, been a great team to work with, and I appreciate y'all having me on and being able to like do what I do. Um, and thanks to my brother Topic for providing the sounds that you heard while I was drawing. Um, we've been kind of like collabing for a long time, and he's been the soundtrack to a lot of my work. So. This was great for just to have us both on here at the same time. So shout outs to everybody um, that came before. Um, it's been great to just be a part of this mix and happy Juneteenth, everybody. Um, I want to give a shout out to my good friend, uh, Morgan from uh, Chocolate Chip Media, who believed in me. Uh, believes in me and my artistry and who I am. We met uh, last year. Um, that's a whole nother story. Um, but basically, I want to give you all like uh, a sneak peek behind something. We want to give you all a sneak peek. And that's on a project called Black Butterflies, which is a experimental documentary about uh, the subculture of do-rags and its most impact and connecting with the community, with the Black community. Um, and most importantly, self-care. Uh, in partnership with uh, digital curation, uh, like I said, from Black Archives, and it's directed and filmed in Oakland uh, by Morgan Matthews, uh, who is a producer over at Chocolate Chip Media. And um, currently, they are in production. 
and we're basically just need some help with donating. So we're going to put that link inside of the chat and you can email Morgan at Morgan at chocolate chip media.com to learn more. Um, and for the website, if you all are listening, you got a pen and paper, everybody's at a computer or something. It's chocolate chip media.com backslash black butterflies. I'm really excited because my do rag says, um, my God, where's the do rag? Oh, that's right. There we go. <laughs> When things are rough, when things don't go your way. The struggle makes you just you just lie. Lie. Go ahead and just back this shit up don't even make the line. Be new again. Yeah. 